Hi, it's Martin Perhiniak. Welcome back to PSD Touch Plus. Today on the shortcut series, I would like to talk about guides in Photoshop. First of all, how can we reach the guides? The basic tool that we need is the ruler tool, so we need to turn that on. Keyboard shortcut for it is Command or Control R. So that's how you turn it on or turn it off. But you can also find it under the view menu, there's rulers. Now, to create a guide, it's really simple. You can just drag from the ruler and place a guide. You can do that for the vertical guides and do the same from the top for horizontal guides. If you hold down Option or Alt, you can use the ruler on the top and switch it to a vertical one. So by pressing Alt or Option, you can switch between the two guides. So you can do the same from the left. Instead of using that for a vertical guide, you can use that for a horizontal guide as well with the option or Alt keyboard shortcut. Another useful keyboard shortcut is when you are placing down a guide, hold down Shift to align it to the measurements on the ruler. So for example, if I want to place down something exactly on 15%, I can see it's already on 15%. I can just simply place it down there. So while I'm dragging it, as you can see, that little dialog box shows me it's now it's 5.3, but if I hold down shift, it jumps to 5%. Okay, so that is quite useful to see. If you right click on the ruler, you can change the measurement. Instead of percent, you can set it to millimeters, for example. And then exactly the same happens if I hold down shift. For example, 58.6, if I hold down shift, it will jump to 58. And if I hold down shift, you can see it will jump every two millimeters. You can also see that the measurements always start from the top left corner of the, your canvas, but you can change that by dragging this little icon here uh, in the intersection of the two rulers. If you drag that somewhere, let's say here in the middle of the canvas, now you can see that's the zero point, and also here on the left, that's the zero point. So if I drag out a guide, and if I want to put it at zero, I can just simply go there. And now that's my zero point. So if I start to measure something, it starts from that point. I can of course always reset that by dragging this here back to the bottom left corner. If you want to get rid of your guides, you can just simply go to the view menu and choose clear guides. You can also change the color of your guides under the preferences, if you go to Photoshop preferences and choose guides, grids and slices. Here you can change the default color, let's say to medium blue, or you can change it to light red, whichever you prefer to work with. And even the style can be changed from lines to dashed lines. I prefer to work with the default options, but I just wanted to point out that you can change these features. Now, I would like to show you in action how to work with the guides and I'm going to clear this now, so clear guides. And let's just say I want to create a very simple uh, alignment of some elements. So I'm going to use the vector shape tools and I'm going to create a rectangle, or in this case, a square. I'm holding down the shift key and you can see that it's a perfect square. And then I'm going to use the move tool. I'm holding down option or alt and click and drag to create duplicates. So quickly create three duplicates. So quickly create three of these squares. And what I would like to do is to set them, uh, set the distance between them the same. Now you can do that by aligning them or distributing them. Select all three together. And then here on the top with the move tool, you can choose this option here, distribute horizontal centers. If I select that one, then it will make sure that the distance between them are, are the same. Let me just make a bigger distance uh, difference between them. And then if I click on that, you can see now they are aligned. But what if I want to use this canvas size and divide the canvas into three parts, so into thirds. To do that, I found the easiest way to use percent for the measurement on the ruler. Okay, so I set it to percent. That means that's 100% altogether, the width. So I'm going to the view menu and choose new guide. Okay, view, new guide. And I'm going to set a vertical guide. 
into a position of 33%. If you want to be even more precise, you can set 33.33, something like that, but I'm just going for 33 at the moment. So I'm going to click on OK. And as you can see, I have already a guide there, which defined one third of my canvas. If I go to the view menu again and choose new guide and type in 66 vertical new guide, then I press enter. Now I have three thirds defined. If I want to set these rectangles or move them around, I can move them and they will snap to the edges of the document and also they will snap to the guys that I place down. If you don't have that snap feature, you can see how it's snapping easily to the guide. If you don't have that, you just need to again go to the view menu and choose snap, make sure it's checked, and then go to snap to and make sure that your guides and document bounds are turned on. Now let's just say I have them different distance, that's for sure, but I would like to have them also cent centered into these third. The easiest way to do that is to set another guide. I can do it here from now. I don't always need to go to the new guide. I'm going to hold down shift and I want to set this to 50%. So I set it to 50% there. And then I'm going to select all three layers here from the layers and drag them until they snap. As you can see, even the center of the objects will snap into the center of this guide. So now they are centralized. And let's just move another guide here. And I'm going to place that also in the middle, so 50%. Then I can use the free transform tool and I can drag them down. And now we have these rectangles. They are uh, the same distance from each other. Also, they are using uh, the thirds of the canvas and half of the vertical distance and half of the height of the canvas. So that was just a simple example, but in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use these uh, for a specific task. But in this tutorial, I have one more thing to show you, and that is the smart guide feature, which you can turn on under the view menu under show smart guides. So view show smart guides. If you have that turned on, then whenever you create or move an object, you will see these purple lines, which will show you the alignment of the object. So for example, if I want to move this in the center, I can easily do that by using these smart guides, or I can use them once again to align it. Let's just say aligned to the other object there above it. I can easily see now it's aligned, or I can even align it like this to the center, have the right edge aligned to the center of the other object. So smart guides are also useful and they appear and disappear quickly. And you can use them in many uh, instances when you are designing something in Photoshop. Once again, if you want to turn it off, you can go to show and turn off the smart guide option. So that's all what I wanted to show you about guides in this tutorial. But as I said in the next tutorial, I will talk more about them and show you an example, a real life example, when it comes really handy to be able to work with guides. Thanks a lot for your attention and I hope you will join me next time.